everybody it's pennies welcome to my channel um today is going to be the black soap update um and i hate this camera it auto focuses and i'm really not happy with it but anyways so um we are four weeks in almost i started on april the 11th and so we're going on four weeks here in a few days and so actually well today's fourth so not exactly four weeks anyways um so yeah everything has went really well um i have not had any new breakouts none whatsoever god i hate this camera none <laughs> whatsoever and I, I took somebody's advice on which one to buy and so it's it's a live cam it's an hd cam but it's not really good but anyways so back to the whole black soap um, I'm still doing the black soap and everybody's been asking me which kind so hold on and I'll get it and show you so let's see if I can get it up here where you can see it <laughs> it's doo doo soon and I'm not really sure how to make that to where it's not so dark but anyways do do soon. Um, it's tropical, as you can see up there. Um, I don't really know how to get a better picture of that. There you go. And yeah, so I discovered after the first week and a half that you really cannot, cannot use this twice a day unless you use a moisturizer. And I found that out because it burnt my face up. I looked like I had been sunburned. So, I do not recommend doing it twice a day unless you buy a really good cocoa butter, probably. Um, I'm actually using a Vino Baby oatmeal with mine, so I can do it twice a day. But, um, so all the breakouts are pretty much stopped. I've not had any new ones. And the ones that I did have, obviously, have pretty much gone away. I do have some makeup on today which I never can wear makeup. That's something else I wanted to tell you guys. Normally I can't wear makeup. It absolutely just breaks me out. Um, I have bad reaction and I'm talking about like I bought, I tried like store brand, I tried Avon, I tried Mary Kay. Nothing really worked. It always made me break out. Um, and actually what I'm wearing today is LA Colors and it's not very expensive um, this is like a powder that you put on um, I don't like liquid makeup it feels too heavy and gross and I just I have a little bit of eyeshadow and some lip gloss on but never really wore makeup never really wanted to wear makeup so but yeah the black soap challenge it's going really well I'm really pleased with the way it's turned out um, and I definitely would recommend it to anybody that's got skin problems, especially if you cannot afford to go and pay a fortune to go and see a daggone dermatologist, because that is a lot of money. I'm serious. It's like a ton of money. And um, this video is probably not going to be very long, because I feel like crap today. And I was <laughs> I was thinking about something, because, you know, let's face it, we're all, well, not all of us, not all of you guys are going to be girls, but... Um, Aunt Flo's visiting, and I was thinking about something today. You know, God bless them. I have friends that are transgendered. I do. I have a friend, a really close friend, that's actually transgendered. But I have got to say, it should be anybody that wants to become a woman surgically. They should have to be required to have. They should have to be required to experience PMS, cramps, bloating, a monthly. Um, they should have to be required to go through childbirth, <laughs> being pregnant, morning sickness, swelling, hemorrhoids, all that crap. They should have to do all that. Because I'm telling you right now, there is no man on earth, if they went through all that, would choose to become a girl if they knew they were going to have to keep doing it, honey. I'm just telling you. And my little friend, you know who you are and I love you. And you know I would tell you this no matter what. Uh, girl. Mm, 
I'm miserable today. It's just ridiculous. I do not understand why women have to suffer so much. And, you know, I, you look back and, and you know, I, I'm a Christian, and so I follow the Bible. And um, the things that we go through because of what Eve did. You know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, open the Bible and read Genesis, okay? Eve, man... She messed things up for all of us. Yes, she did, honey. She made the women have to suffer. You know, I got to I got to say, it's 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 Eve's fault. She did this. <laughs> she did this to us. And I'm telling you, I guess if if you're not a girl and you want to be a girl, not having to go through all this crap you know, I guess that would be good. I guess it'd be good. I don't know. I love my kids. And I'm glad I can have them. And I feel bad for the people that want to have them and can't. But, um, man. That's one thing i got to say, that the transgender community did right. You don't have to suffer through all this crap. You get all the good parts of being a girl. You know, you really you do. You get to pick your boob size. You get to pick pretty much everything about yourself. You know, once you get the surgeries. And you don't have to deal with all the, um, the girl crap. <laughs> and it's, it's not good. But anyways, um... I just want to say a big thank you, a big shout out to Big Shirley, um, Ale Anna Alexander. She has really been a really good friend to me on YouTube. She's helped me kind of get started and walk me through some of the stuff I don't understand. And she's going to be live tonight on Blog TV at 8 o'clock. Um, her name on that is MZ Gohard. Um, and she's just really awesome. Let me make sure I give you... It's M... Z go hard 83 and that's going to be on blog tv tonight at 8 so come on over and check out her live show that's going to be really good and i think that's going to be about it for this blog um a little bit boring but like i said it was just a black soap update so um hope y'all enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll talk to y'all next time